Hey, this is Healy Jones from Cruise Consulting. Uh, today we're going to discuss authorized shares. What are authorized shares? Why does this matter? Well, turns out if you understand this concept, you may actually be able to save your startup thousands of dollars in taxes. So stay tuned for that. At Cruise Consulting, we're the leading CPA firm that is 100% dedicated to venture capital backed startups. Uh, we provide tax, finance, accounting, consulting to these firms. Our clients have collectively raised billions of dollars in venture capital funding from top investors, and we know what it takes to navigate the startup tax and finance ecosystem. All right, so let's dive in and discuss authorized shares. So authorized shares are determined by your company's articles of incorporation, which is a document that your law firm will work on, and they signify the maximum number of shares your business is legally allowed to issue. It's like a kind of a boundary that makes sure your company's capital structure uh, stays intact um, and that you don't exceed the number of shares you're supposed to have. Uh, your VC does not want you secretly giving away shares to um, like basically anybody. So this is legal protection for them. And it's also for you and the other founders that make sure the company doesn't severely mess up its cap table. Okay, so for VC backed startups, you do distinguish between your authorized shares and your shares outstanding. Okay, these are two different things. Um, and your shares outstanding include ones that have been purchased by your investors that the founders own. Uh, they also include elements in the option pool. So this knowledge directly impacts your control over the company, uh, how much investors own, its appeal to your investors, your cap table. So understanding your share count and your authorized and outstanding shares is quite important. Most VC backed startups, actually pretty much all, incorporate in Delaware as Delaware C Corporation. Um, one aspect of this that results in the tax bill is that you owe annual franchise taxes to Delaware for the sort of pleasure of being a Delaware C Corp. Uh, but there's a bit of a catcher. There are two ways to calculate your Delaware franchise tax, and they're both based on your cap table and your equity. So one is the authorized share method which is obviously using your authorized share account. And this can result in a much higher payment. Uh, you should actually probably use the par value method, which tends to be more favorable for venture capital backed startups. Uh, this is why we have developed a Delaware franchise tax calculator on our website at Cruise. Uh, it's a tool designed to help you estimate your franchise tax obligations. And um, if you see that you have a huge Delaware franchise tax, it's probably because somebody's using the authorized share method and then it's not the right calculation method. So use our calculator uh, and consult with a CPA who actually understands how to work with startups. Well, I hope this is helpful. I hope you know a little bit more about what authorized shares are. If you have questions, reach out to us here at Cruise Consulting. Thank you.